welcome to the Blackbird Creek watershed. This particular watershed is one of the most pristine places remaining in the state of Delaware. Delaware Wildlands is a nonprofit land trust. We've been in operation since 1961, which makes us the oldest land trust operating in the state of Delaware. We now have land throughout all three counties and want to restore it for wildlife habitat, reforest it for bird life, for waterfowl. We want to make sure that it maintains its original condition. This is the 1250 Roberts Farm, and it actually used to be four different farms. And this is one of the key linchpins to connecting 10,000 acres of protected space in southern Newcastle County, which is one of the most rapidly growing areas of Delaware. Back in the day when agricultural was prevalent throughout the state, it was the trapping associated with each farm that was the lucrative part of the business. There is fantastic muskrat trapping here, and so that's really why the marsh remains so pristine, because they never wanted to drain it, they never wanted to disrupt the habitat for muskrat. In the late 60s, Shell Oil decided this would be a perfect place for the construction of a refinery. Ted Harvey was the founder of Delaware Wildlands, and he went and purchased a patchwork of properties, just enough so that Shell Oil would not be able to amass the land mass they needed to construct the refinery. He worked alongside with Governor Peterson to pass the Coastal Zone Act. And then later, Delaware Wildlands went back and purchased all of the Shell Oil land that they had purchased in the 60s, and now we have 10,000 acres of contiguous land. The state of Delaware has done a phenomenal job of protecting land. Delaware Wildlands and the Coastal Zone Act both occurred before EPA was even founded. So we're wanting to revive that and help people understand what makes Delaware a special place. Kids and people now um, are just not used to being in open spaces and they're not used to hearing nothing. It's almost scary for them to not hear auto traffic, horns, planes, all of that. And so they get used to the nothingness, kind of reintroducing nature to people again. We're providing habitat that will carry those species into the future forever, but also connecting people back to, to the land so they can appreciate it.